Welcome back to the Sahyadri webinar series, uh, a visual journey through 200 forts across 15 traverses. Today we'll talk about the Ajanta Satmala uh, range part 1, which is located north of Nasik. As usual, the high quality version of the videos is available on YouTube and my blog ultrajourneys.org, while a 10 minute preview you can find on Insta TV and Facebook. Here you can see the Satmala Ajanta range. So starting at the bottom we have Ankai Tankai Katrai, uh, which is actually located towards the eastern side near Manmat. For going further west we come across Chanwat, Indrai, Rajder, Kolder and Kachna. Achmanta's Ajanta Satmala range is a mountain range which runs across the Nasik districts in Maharashtra. They are an integral part of the Sahyadris range within Nasik. These peaks are visible from a greater part of the district and form a prominent landmark. The highest of them is Dolap at 1450 meters. Uh, Dolap Fort is the third highest hill peak in Maharashtra after Kalsubai and Saler and the 29th highest peak in the Western Ghats. At the eastern side of this range lies the Chanvat range. Uh, there is a range with the same name Sadmala in Telangana. The range looks like a necklace placed along Nasik. It passes right through the center of the city from Saputara to Vani from Chanwat to Manmat is the spread of the Satmala range. Voila, so after finishing 50 forts on foot while running in between the forts, I borrow a bike from a good friend in Pune, Kedar, and now start biking across Maharashtra to finish the 150 remaining forts starting uh, north of Nazik first with uh, a couple of ranges here. We start at Ankai Fort, uh, which is a historic site found in the Satmala range located in uh, Yol Yola Taluka of the Nasik districts. Ankai and Tankai Fort uh, are two different forts on adjacent hills. Uh, they are the strongest hill fort in the Nasik districts. A common fortification is constructed to secure both the forts and Tang Tangkai Fort has ruins of a large Maratha hill fort on the peak. Here you can see the caves at the base of Ankai Fort. Beautiful uh, caves in still pretty good condition. You can see here an uh, Vishnu temple I believe. Uh, here is the idol inside the temple. Beautiful uh, rock carvings there, uh, still pretty much preserved. Some of the sculptures have been uh, damaged as we can see here. Big, big caves uh, completely cut out out of the rock. Again, beautiful sculptures at the walls of the caves. Voila, here we climb up towards Ankai and we get beautiful views on the fortification on the opposite side of Tankai Fort. Uh, here we have the common entrance to both forts, uh, fortification in the saddle between both the hills. Uh, when I visited the fort in uh, November 2019, there was like full restoration works in progress, pulling up uh, big blocks of rock with a steel cable cord and then cutting it and restoring the uh, ancient fortification. Here you can see the beautiful entrance towards Tankai Fort. Uh, which a staircase uh, laid out with rocks which climbs up all the way to the hill. On the opposite side we can see Ankai where we don't have much on top of uh, that hill. Okay, so after passing uh, Mama towards Arungabad one sees a pinnacle standing tall which is known by the name of uh, Hadbichi Shindi or Thumbs Up. Near this pinnacle there is a hill which stands separated from the Ajanta Satmal mountain range on which Katra Fort is located uh, and there is a small temple of Lord Shiva. Here uh, we can see that uh, small uh, temple which is still inhabited uh, by a local uh, yogi. As soon as he saw me this is like a non-touristic fort so hospitality immediately some nice I was as I was climbing up the fort. At the base of Katraj Fort, 
this uh, nice gentleman, Baba, staying in a beautiful temple here, is um, serving some nice lemon tea. He's living in a peaceful place, halfway up the mountain. Small temple here to pray to the Almighty. Water source from the mountain. On top there is Katraj. Very peaceful place, trees, nice place to sit and even power. Yeah, thank you G. Voila, so here we can see the cave temple in which the uh, Baba is also sleeping at night. And voila, as we climb up a little through a saddle and then on the right uh, side peak, we uh, don't see much on top except for some old uh, rock cut caves. Uh, if we go inside, we can see some uh, cut out uh, cave shelters. Voila, on the way next we have Chanwat Fort, uh, which was positioned to overlook the trade route from Kandesh to Nasik. It guarded the Chandor Pass in the nearby hills. Uh, this fort uh, too is a very important fort in the Nasik district but is very less visited by trekkers. I reached the fort in the night, uh, climbed up and uh, slept on top of a temple midway, getting, uh, getting these beautiful city lights views in the night of Chanwat, a city below. In the morning, getting up with the sun rays, you get uh, the temple here at uh, the base of the hill. As usual, of course, uh, Morning time is tea time. Quite a few walkers from the city, I guess, who come here to walk on the hill. Beautiful uh, sculptures uh, around the temple. Nice handwork. And then as we climb up to the hill, we pass a big lake midway, just uh, on top of the temple, providing a water source. The way to the top is a little tricky. After an initial trail, we have to climb up uh, partly a ladder and partly a steel cable. Uh, get, getting up is okay, but getting down, <laughs> of course, is a little bit more tricky. On top, we still find some uh, old rocket reservoirs. And then from the top, uh, getting down over the same uh, cable uh, descent is a bit scary. You can see Chandwat again there now during daylight, as well as the reservoir uh, at the base. Voila, after climbing this fort, it's time to recharge on the highway. A lot of dabas there with some healthy fried, uh, deep fried items. <laughs> then next uh, on the mountain ranges of the Sahyadri starts uh, from Surgana in Nasik and ends in Chandwat. Uh, this is the Aj Ajanta Satmal range amongst various forts in this range, Rajder, Indra, Kolder. And Chandwat, like the Chandwat in the Chandwat Taluka, this fort was surrendered to the British forces by the Maratha army after the fall of the Trimbak fort in 1818. So this is Kolder fort here. Uh, I actually approached it, if we go back once, I approached it from the highway, which was actually not the correct way. I uh, climbed up on the left side here, a little bit tricky. I was able to make it, but the main Access trail is actually from the right side. I uh, found some old carved uh, stones on the way. And here you can see then some rocket steps which give access to the upper portion of the fort. Where uh, below the pinnacle you still find caves. Um, voila, nice views on the Ajanta Satmal range from the caves underneath uh, this one. Here you then see the view from the saddle actually that connects Kolder with Indrai and the Rajder from where you actually have the proper trail up, not from the other highway side. Rajder is an important fort in the Nasik district. We see a stone inscription on the left side of the arch on the entrance. After ascending the rock cut steps to the fort, we can see the remnants of a mansion. This is a rocket cave which has a ladder to descend. On the top of the cave is a well with an arch. A temple of Lord Shiva is located in the cave. Here we can see again a tricky kind of multi uh, port ladder which gives access to the initial port. I guess this must have been a rock staircase which has been destroyed, blown up possibly by the Britishers, then finally gives access to the uh, remaining staircase that gets you to the top of the fort. Here you can see the top section of um, 
this forts big uh, cut uh, reservoirs in the rock and then beautiful views again on this prolonged Ajanta Satmala range from uh, colder sorry from Indra you can see those caves uh, which have been cut underneath probably water reservoirs and you can still see the foundations of uh, some mansion uh, below one of the rocks also a uh, temple here of Lord Shiva Voila, proceeding then from uh, Rajdeer to Indrai Fort, Indrai or Indragiri Fort is an important fort in the Nasik district but again less visited by trekkers, there are around 150 rocket steps to the top after ascending we can see the remnants of the entrance and there is a stone inscription on the left side of the entrance the mountain top is extensive, rocket caves, temple of Lord Shiva and 18 to 20 caves here we can see that rock cut entrance uh, towards uh, the fort. Big uh, underground caves again for uh, water storage. Water is clear here in the month of, even in the month of uh, February. This was, and then again from the top you have a beautiful trail that goes around the entire uh, hill, which is quite long. And then a whole sequence of uh, many many caves at one side of the hill with again a temple here of Lord Shiva in one of the caves during when we came there that night we could see some pug marks of a large cat, cat species possibly a leopard uh, in the sand okay then proceeding further along the highways connecting these forts come across uh, local shepherds and uh, proceeding next to Kanchna Fort uh, is a hill fort in the Nazik district located in the Ajanta Satmala mountain range. The battle of Kancha Bari was fought in the area surrounding this fort. Bari means a valley. Kanchan Fort must have been built to keep an eye on the trade route passing through this valley. Here you can see the view of Kanchna from the base. Uh, got small farming settlements there in the base. And then climbing up again uh, midway the rock below the final pinnacle you have these caves and uh, reservoirs here the view from one of the reservoirs on the uh, neighboring rock face voila after all that climbing it's time for some refueling some nice cold beer with uh, uh, tandoori rotis and some good chicken curry to keep moving Voila, this was the first part of the Ajanta Satmala range north of Nasik. Thanks for uh, staying tuned. We were also driving to beautiful vine orchards as you can see here. As usual, you can check all these videos and much more on my blog ultrajourneys.org. See you tomorrow for part 2 of the same range.